Let's do a little tightly controlled cabbage patch dance for John Edwards because you know that he probably tinkled in his little tiny panties with Thursday written in cursive across the butt because he got so lucky. I was inside watching it. I have this weird, I don't really care a whole lot about politics, but I have a weird thing as far as Sarah Palin and John Edwards. I actually went out and bought the books, the tell-alls that their aides wrote about them. I was obsessed with it. A, my hatred for Sarah Palin was so intense that I was cussing people out and getting church lady lips and making that face, which I will try never to do again. Um, yeah, I absolutely hated Sarah Palin so much. She is the dumbest person that I have ever not met but seen on TV. Oh, which magazines do you read? Oh, I've asked for any of them. And she sounds like an owl and a... Uh, I mean, you can't come up, you don't even know enough to say, like, the Weekly Standard, or, I mean, you don't, you don't even know enough to say anything, except maybe Allure and Cosmopolitan, I don't know, it's ridiculous, but John Edward can go out and run his fingers through his $450 haircut, and probably moosed and sprayed chest hair, I don't know if he has any, he looks like the kind of guy who might have three pubes, and no hair on his legs, you know where a guy's socks are, and then they have like zero hair here down. Yeah, he's probably that guy. Probably couldn't grow a mustache. He and Jay Carney would be like, uh, could not grow a mustache at all. But, bitch, she got lucky today, so you need to treat yourself to uh, a little martini, a little cosmopolitan. You need to go call the girls in Sex in the City, and y'all can all like run around and buy you some new Manolo Blonde X, and y'all can all have a big... Cosmo and talk bad about voice. And maybe Rael can go. You know that slut probably drank the whole time she was pregnant with that little girl. You know she probably did. She just looks like a pill head. I probably look like a pill head because I'm obsessed with playing with my hair all the time. But there's just something wrong with her. A, when I found out she got knocked up, I was I was happier than I was when I found out Jessica Simpson was just going to get fat. Fat as Christina Aguilera. I had so much fun. I used to go into the corner grocery store once a week and I'd be like who got fat this week because you know I love it I mean you can tell by the posts that I write that I just love it when Jessica Simpson got fat I was such a happy girl such a happy girl and you know that was not all baby I mean what is a baby five pounds placenta five pounds water weight five pounds baby that baby came out with freaking Fu Manchu wanting a hamburger that baby came out and it I mean, it was 10 pounds, but it was also probably 10 pounds because Jessica Simpson gave the poor little thing diabetes too, closing a nostril and doing a line of ding-dongs. I mean, that little girl was probably a little... She and Christina Aguilera, I mean, what are they doing? How Do you not notice that none of your clothes are fitting anymore? I mean, what are y'all doing, peeling sticks of butter and eating them like bananas? I just don't understand. Ooh, I just don't understand, but I understand one thing, and that is... John Edwards got so lucky, and he totally didn't deserve it. I was hoping he'd go out like Blago, and he'd serve many, many years just for being an asshole. Although, I bet Elizabeth Edwards, man, when I read that book, I could tell she was a bitch. Sorry that she had cancer, so sorry, but I could tell she was a bitch no matter what, so I kind of don't blame John Edwards for cheating on her, but he's kind of like Bill Clinton. I'm like, dude, don't you realize that you could score better trim than that? I mean, Bill Clinton was, what was that, like Steve Perry goes to Arkansas? What was that? And then she put braces on it. And as far as John Edwards' mistress, I mean, my God, I just hope and pray that that poor little Francis Quinn child does not get the pig snout that Ryle Hunter's walking around with. It's like Sissy Spacek. She has no excuse for that nose. If you've not had a nose job, why not? And if you have had a nose job, you go get that shit for a fix, girl. Fixed. And now. Because life is too short. Going through it with a Victoria Beckham nose. Speaking of why haven't you gotten your nose fixed. Speaking of doing this, which I'm just being silly now. I used to always ask my mother. I'd, I'd say, Mama, would you still love me if my nose looked like this? And she'd say, no, and quit that. And I'd say, well, what if I had like a really good personality? Still no? And I was like, no, and quit that. Anyway, all right, so John Edwards, everybody, party it up. Rael Hunter, go get your nose fixed, girl. You're going to need it.